Hello everyone, welcome back to Automate Internet Explorer with Excel VBA part 3. So in this video we are going to automate the form filling in website using an Excel VBA. So this is a website uh, I took this uh, for a tutorial purpose. Uh, you can find the website link in the description. And here we are going to automate the registration process with Excel VBA. If you see there are uh, around a few fields here, we are going to interact these fields through uh, Excel VBA code. So in order to interact with these fields, we should note down the HTML element of all this field. So let's say first name, just click on this uh, first text box, right click and go to inspect. You will find the HTML element of uh, first name. Just copy the first name and note it down in the notepad. And repeat the same for all these uh, remaining fields so this is a little bit a different one because this is a drop-down field just click on the drop-down right click and go to inspect again and here we'll find a name copy the name country and note it down in the notepad so I have already noted down uh, all those HTML elements uh, in the notepad so we will go back to the code let's see what happens so this code I took from a previous tutorial I'm going to continue with this code what uh, I have just replaced this dot navigate from www.google to this link so uh, this uh, uh, this code will open an internet explorer and you can able to see the internet explorer because of this dot visible is equal to true and it will navigate to this uh, web page from internet explorer and wait until the in, uh, until this page gets loaded so now after the page gets loaded we want to enter the first name in the first field first text box so let's create an object called f name and assign the HTML element of this first name to this object F name. So I'm just copying the first name HTML element and put it in the get element by ID. So we have created an object first name and I want the first name to be a first name so now this code will enter this first name in this text box one so there are around uh, uh, 13 fields if you see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 fields so already we done for one field i want the same to be copied for 12 more times 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 that's it so now second one is a loss name just copy the HTML element of the loss name and go back and give here also simultaneously I am changing the object to be a loss name and loss name I want the loss name to be a loss name next one is phone here we have to give a phone number I'm just changing the HTML element to be a phone and also some object as well so here we want to enter a phone number let's say some any numerical value and next one is a username i'm not sure what it is it's an email id so here we have to give an email id just enter a test at gmail.com next one is an address one uh, 
I want an address one to be add one. Next one is an address two. Address two should be add two. Next one is a city name. Let's say city as uh, Tim. Next one is a state. Let's say the state as Iowa. And next one is a postal code. Here we have to give a postal code which means a numerical value. Let's say 45345. And next one is a country. But if you see here, country is not a text box, it is a drop down. So as of now, just replace this with country. But this code won't set the country name here. We will come back to this part later after uh, filling the remaining two. So next one is after country, we have three fields, username, and that is an email here. And I want the email to be same as uh, this email ID, test.gmail.com. Second one is a password. Here you need to enter a password. Password is pwg at one two three. And again, we have one more field called a confirm password. So I'm copying it one more time, and I'm replacing with this HTML element confirm password as well as an object. So the password should be the same as password confirm password. Make sure that confirm password is same as this password object pwd8123. And now we will go back to this difficult country part. If you see this is a drop down and uh, this HTML element country hold down uh, contain all these countries. So we want to pick a country from the list. We cannot able to we cannot send a text other than the uh, country which gets stored here. So we should use a for loop for this case. So for i is equal to 1, 2. I want the for loop to iterate from the first country to the last country in this uh, drop down. So first country start here as Albania and I want the for loop to iterate from Albania to Zimbabwe. So in order to do that I should use here country refer this object country dot options dot length. So this country dot options dot length code return the number of countries which get stored in the uh, HTML element drop down. So once we determine the country we should use a for loop to iterate and here we want to using an if loop I want to select a country from the list. So country dot options your options I uh, iterate from starting point to the ending point if country dot options I dot text here you need to pass the country which want to be selected from the drop down which you want to be selected from this drop down so let's say I want the country to be as India so I want I want uh, we be code to select the country India from this uh, drop down so I'm giving the text as India here oops if country op dot options I dot text is equal to India then country dot selected index is equal to I which means 
this country dot selected index find the index of index index means the position of the country india from this drop down so once you determine the position then it select the india from the drop down so once everything is done we don't want the for loop to iterate again and again so here i want to end the for loop using an exit for and i am ending the if statement also a for statement let's execute the code and see what happen so now it's opening the internet explorer once it opened it prefill the value first name last name and it's also enter phone number email address one address two city street postal code country and everything is entered so that's it we are done but we want to enter the submit button as well so we will add a code to submit this form so in order to submit the form we should use a document.forms.submit method so this code will submit the form let's execute and see what happens so it has entered all the values and then submitted that so thank you for watching this video you can find this code in the description field but before using the code please make sure that you give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel bye bye